I will try to give a little context to the use of artificial intelligence uh, or machine creativity in the arts, because this may be a bit scary and a bit unknown. So, can machines compose by themselves? This is in principle possible, but no, not yet. There is a long way to go. The technology is simply not there yet. Neither algorithms complex enough, nor sufficiently fast hardware. But more importantly, creativity is a process that takes place in interaction with the environment, with the people around you, and influenced by the events of your life. For machines to, have tru to behave truly creatively, they need to have a life, to have experiences to reflect upon. The current paradigms of black box creativity, for example, when a computer program is trained to create pictures in the style of Van Gogh or music in the style of Mozart, this is simply quite uninteresting and just a kind of fancy mimicry. A more fruitful view on machine creativity is that the new technologies from artificial intelligence and machine learning are tools. Tools that augment our human abilities. They allow us to work with abstractions and concepts that are on a higher level than we previously could. Where we previously were confined to deal with basic materials such as pitches, rhythms and audio samples, we can now, in a way, deal with high-level concepts such as styles, patterns, gestures, as building blocks and fundamental material. And the software tools can even, by themselves, form new concepts out of recurring patterns in the material that we feed them. This is quite a big change for the creative artist. It provides for new parameters on a higher level, new knobs to turn, so to speak. As the creativity philosopher Margaret Bowden would have said, the development of such tools is truly an act of transformation of creativity. These tools have transformed what we can do, added new dimensions to the space of possibilities that we can explore in our artistic uh, processes. So, there is still absolutely the need for a human in the loop, even though some new skills are needed, of course. Artificial intelligence, when used right, is not a substitute for a human, but a way to augment our abilities. This is even more evident because, thanks to the speed of today's computers, we can use these technologies in real time, in a live situation. Martino Saroli, the prize winner of the special prize for an AI-related work, gives an excellent example of exactly that. So, and this is the formal jury statement, the special prize for an AI-related work is given to Martino Saroli for his work Lapidario, episode one, this is the first half of a statistic about mineral life, conceived as a multi-channel piece for live electronics. Saroli uses state-of-the-art machine learning technologies to resynthesize a complex sound material under live control. Lapidario, episode one, on the theme of silicon crystals, the very basis of computer technology, is composed by a human, but combines the best of both worlds. It is elegant, organic, and powerful. Congratulations.